And this is to basically repeat the same, more or less the same as I stated in Slovenian language. I wanted to state this in Slovenian language because it concerns the two politicians. It concerns the Hague Tribunal for war crimes. And um, next to Serbian president, uh, this stuff concerns Slovenian president. Borat Pahor and his mentor, his teacher. This is the man that you see right here. His name is Milan Kuchan. Um, in this message, which I have not posted entirely yet, in the English language. Like, for instance, in this one here, it's where I identify yet another individual from Serbia. Um, they attempted to protect Milan Kuchan, uh, mentor Milan Kuchan of Borut Pahor. Yeah, this is a Slovenian president. This, this, this is the people that were involved in this ordeal against me in, since 1995. And they were really, really sure. They were sure that Donald Trump is going to help them rebuild Yugoslavia. Uh, they were sure they're going to see second coming of Yugoslavia because everything went so smooth for these people. And in this part, I'm just going to issue a very brief statement. I am pleased to have explained what exactly went on in Slovenia in respect to partisan memorials in 1995, in 1996, in 1997, 98, and so on. Well, parallel to this, partisan memorials uh, for beatings in front of the partisan memorials, I was also subjected to was also subject to uh, this war criminal who never got to stand on a tribunal for war crimes. This was a Serbian who caused massacres all over Bosnia. Uh, but it was not only Bosnia I was brought. I was brought to other areas in Croatia too, uh, where they killed, massacred people. And it was the Serbian military, it was the side job of this man that I demonstrated to you. This man was a junior. So these are his Slovenian counterparts that never wanted Slovenia to exist, even though both of them were selected as the Slovenian presidents. They assassinated people on a large scale, Slovenian people. This is a team that belongs, uh, that Melania Trump's is father-in-law belongs to. That's a Udba, that's a Slovenian Udba. These are the people that always had problem with existence of Slovenia as an inst independent state, problem with a Croatian state, problem with a Bosnian state. They just wanted a big Serbia. So the side the job of this man, whenever I was delivered to him, and they ensured deliveries to him. They did. They brought me from Slovenia. They did. Milan Kuchan did. Borut Paho did. Next to the torture in front of the Slovenian memorials, a side job of this man. He was a junior to the people like Slobodan Milosevic, Karadzic, uh, Šešel. These are people that were trialed at the War Crime Tribunal in Haag. Uh, these are war criminals, basically. And he is a president of Serbia today. 
a side job of this man was not only to collect envelopes for, yeah, he would come to Slovenia and collect envelopes from companies uh, and then he would hand these envelopes, you know, that's how he built the trust uh, to his seniors, as I mentioned. Uh, his side job was also to bring me to the front lines of the war in Bosnia, in Croatia. Uh, the idea, the genius behind uh, these war criminals here that you see. By the way, Karadzic is a psychiatrist. This was my personal case manager that was... Um, uh, assigned to me, I was assigned to him. He was he was my case manager from Serbia. I have to do with the Serbia as much as with the last year snow. I'm Slovenian native and I'm also American citizen. So then you can imagine the corruption also within the US government through the Vladimir Putin, how far Putin managed to get. The side the job of this uh, individual, this Milosevic is a junior trainee. Now he is a president. Alexander Vucic was to also bring me to the front lines of the war in Croatia and in Bosnia, where he would have me in front of the soldiers, in front of these people that were inside of the ditches and the front lines shooting, exchanging fire with the, with the Croats, with the Bosniaks. The side job was to hand me to them so they could torture me and so that I would go and use on them all kinds of insults, uh, fight back with them over their helpless, of course, jerked up. You know, this is this guy that holds so proudly the tiger here. You know. I suppose that I was a tiger. They managed to anger, they did this so that they would anger the Serbs uh, soldiers enough for them to get into like borderline life threatening uh, situations uh, during the exchange of fire with the Bosniaks and with the Croats with the idea to boost uh, a crazy insane morale that's basically through the torture basically subject me to the torture obtaining reactions from me and it's what they would use to incite the Serbian soldiers into a massacres, into a war against the Croats, against the Bosnian people. The word did go around and did find place. Croatian government must have noted, Bosnian government must have noted this, they must have noted this somewhere in the documents. They gotta have this in doc. Uh, and it's got to be proofs, God knows <laughs> how many proofs about what I stated right now. So this is basically the crime I am charging today, just as I have explained in Slovenian language, two Slovenian presidents. One is Borut Pahor and the other one is Milan Kucha. These people committed war crimes. These people committed massacres in Croatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina. They committed atrocities. And I believe as a rule of law, these people should go to Hague on a trial. This is how big this case is. So there is more to say about this stuff, but I'm going to take time some other time to explain more about it. I did refer here to the incident with the 99 incident. NATO incident. 
this is really not a big deal. I did not even know where I was, what went on, brought, thrown on a plane and flown over Belgrade. Uh, there is not much here to explain. With stuff the Serbs have done to me, um, I could have done even, if I had a chance, even something worse than that. So, I just want to explain next to the torture in front of the partisan memorials in Slovenia what exactly went on here. It was the same recipe the Serbs, the Russians have used on Americans. The Americans did not know about all this stuff early stages, but then at one point they would get them, they would lure them to Bosnia and stuff like this and so on. Some of them probably did. Donald Trump I'm sure it did. Um, and so that would be probably used to this birth guild of an American side for delivering me drugged up from United States of America, from Miami, to not only Eastern Europe, just Eastern Europe for torture. You know, that was, in my eyes, what the Pollocks did, what the Czechs, Slovaks, what they did, Slovenes. Now, this is disgusting about I'm Slovenian native. I think they paid act of solidarity with the Serbs here. Because why would you go and torture and do that kind of stuff if not to cover up basically what, what the Serbs were doing through me to the Bosnian nation and to the Croats. No. So this is a big case. This is how big case this case is. It's a little bit bigger than Epstein. Uh, and Prince Andrew Gilfor, whatever her name is, uh, <laughs> sexual affair. I'm going to give you a date and time. November 19, 2021, and this is the city. This thing was published, so just for you to know. Thanks for watching this video.